Welcome, Wastelanders. Back to Alan Wake Remastered. This is probably going to be the second to last part, I'd say. Second to last part is probably what I'm going to go with. And uh, Merry Christmas, because it's pretty much Christmas. Uh, yeah, I haven't really recorded or uploaded anything recently because most of my videos are in parts like, like this one. So it takes me time. I had a lot of burnout, I think. I bribed it in a way of I was bulk recording, but in reality I burnt myself out from playing games. But I am playing another game in the background. Ooh, ooh. I'm not ready to record it yet, but I'm setting it up, so you have to wait and see for that. Probably it will probably come out in a new year then with anything else. Anyway, we're here to talk about Alan Wake. Last time we left off, we we started to explore the Anderson farm with you know, Tor and Odin in their heydays on their makeshift stage towards their now, which I would see as a Viking uh, Great Hall. Reminds me of that. Reminds me of sort of like, where they would go to have the feasts of Valhalla. You know, that's what it reminds me of anyway. Cool. So anyway, continue exploring. We're going to explore the house now and see what's actually inside. Hmm. I didn't find anything. I went around the whole house. I couldn't see anything, so. Time to go inside the house. No pages, no coffee cups, nothing. The lights are out. Guess we better check the fuse box. Asgard. Hey. Hello. Oh, fireworks. Hey, two in a row. I'll be on fire. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Yeah, but where is it? Why would the fuse box be upstairs? You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby attic. Old gods know the truth. Come on, Al, let's get the page. lights on, huh? Hello. There we go. Well, I'm going to read this manuscript page. The mystery of the missing week. Again. Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh, music. Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? It's here. Oh, that's gotta be what's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Ah Right. Must be. Ah, there it is. I don't know if this is if this is like DMCA or not. Okay. Pretty cool, though. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Hey, on, Barry, this is. Yeah. What the hell? Might as well. Couple Kyle. Crazy Still there. 
I'm gonna stick by you. No matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? The hell? <laughs> this fucking drunk. What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, bloody old Barry. God. Dove is oil. What? What the hell? Is this some like Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, oh. an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! I just like explored a whole lot. Well, like, hello? This is so weird, man. Hello? Fucking rocket horse. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater. Sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> That's where I am, though. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. <sighs> <coughs> Alice, I'm she still limited to work and go. And so she had me. Alice, <coughs> I'd been easy prey. No, I don't see it. Is there someone in the window? What? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Go back in the cabin. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Hello? Maybe her puppet. Oh, there she is. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in his study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. I have goose pimples, guys. Alice? Oh, there she is. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. The owls. Never trust the owls. She drowned. No, no, no. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Never trust Here, the house. You have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Look at these things. Never trust them. You can write her back. 
the story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript she had was the Alice. ransom for her. Go. Oh. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. The Sacrifice. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Yeah, look, mm, Even with right. the cobwebs she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending. Tom and Zane, the darkness it? consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away. But I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. What? No What's with the suit? Be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. <laughs> six six seven A. Hey, I've broken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. The week spent in the Babes. cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. My poor Zane. to weaken the dark presence. Kept me safe that night. And there we go, that's what we started. Isn't it? I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. What the hell? No. 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 Yep. Easily on Alan Wake. Under the influence Pre of the presence, to dream. I wrote a horror story that is coming Pre true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure yeah, we get it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. A <laughs> Moose Fest, the glory. Might be in jail. With Barry. What? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said that you lady. wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. In the light. In the light. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a Blech. crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, it's a night time already. Help. Jesus this Christ. Good. That about sums it up. There's a toilet there. Use the toilet, please. Oh, I am never drinking again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, we're Al, but we're stuck here. Night, They're not you gonna... Have interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Oh, Jesus. Well, 
I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <laughs> Look, that's not possible it's a glitchy, right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more yeah, man. Get if the you fuck were sober out. and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... <laughs> Bye. Oh my god. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this. Mate, there's two pages In there. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. One. Oh man. We're sitting ducks with two. the lights out. Oh, the clicker. Okay. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. What? <laughs> He's reading the page, he took out his hip flask and he's reading the page and he took out his hip flask. felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Yeah, fuck off, you know. Uh, how many did I need to get all the ones in then? Four, I just want to double check. Hell yeah, just missing these ones. I think I missed some in three, didn't I? Uh, no, hell to the yeah. What about two? No, it's still just... Oh, no, I did miss one. I missed one. Ah, oh, shit. And I think this is just all the... Yeah, so it's not too bad. I've missed one all the way so far. It's not too bad, man. It's not too bad. Cool. I can get the emergency power on. What about a TV? Clear. Thank you. Take another one. Thank you. Is there a toilet? Thank you. Take that. Oh. What are you doing? There we go. Things. Wait, what do I need to know? Well, do I don't want that. I want the big boy they flashlight. They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Well, I had the big boy. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there uh -huh. pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. They have a chopper? Yeah, we can get her quickly in it. Uh, she lives in the old decommissioned plant, and we can get to her quickly, you know. No. Going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night oh my Springs. God. Okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy's on the list. Manny. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? Is it? Yeah. The backup power. What they, I can't really call me. Twin Peaks. In case we don't come back. Something boys. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As Lock boys or something like that? Oh, bloody Thanks, I can't remember. I just watched it as well. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Through the back. Hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one out? I'll take a pizza right now. Must have broken the gate controls. Can't 
can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay rooftop. here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Where am I going now? Find access to the rooftop. Nick? Yeah. Nope. I'll go back through the thing again. Yeah. Hello. House. What's this? That res? I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Okay. I see it. Well, I'm gonna have to get it up. Doys. The defense float. Was that a big boat? Random ass scoop. Is that a magic page? Oh no, flares. I take the flares. I take them because I need them. Come on. Goodbye. What is this? Mate, I've got lighters on you. Why are you not disappearing? Oh my god, why is there so many? Hey, Sheriff, your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Fright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. Uh -huh. Hey, wait! The gate, remember? You have to open it for me! I'm coming! leave without the sheriff. The she was my ticket box. to Weaver. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! Come on. So weird. Oh, damn. That's smart. Good job, Wake. Okay, stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. We're going in. Where are we going? Now. Uh, I want to change this, please. Two for the parcel bomb. So I fall, big boy. What I do with this thing, man. Over here, Wade. The chopper's in the other direction. Oh. Get them off me. Oh. 
I'm finding like with this this um, torch, my batteries are going so quickly. No. Oh my god, I can't do anything. What is this? Lovely. I don't know how long we have been pushed back. Ooh. Ah! Yeah, flezzes. Hell yeah, yo. Mate, she's she's fucking amazing. It's better than Fat Wake here. Jesus, the running man. Because the base does not keep running, running. Fermo. There you go. Paint jobs. Garage. I go in here, yeah? No. Hello, mate. Good old Combarini. Shotgun and pistol. Combo. Mate, there's, there's stuff everywhere. Do you think I'm going to, like, not pin this shit up? Oh! Come on in. Yep. That was smart, wasn't it? Oh, mate, come on, Alan. What about a diner? Oh hell yeah, I can go in the diner. Oh yeah, I'll take that heavy duty one. Thanks, cheese. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's all. Can I play a song? Can I play coconut? A lamb and a coconut? To know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week, you can't remember. Drink them both up. Oh, I remember now. It is, but a lot of cocoa, so. That's cool. Ooh. I'm full. That's good. Mate. Scary corridor. I think we got to go this way. Because it looks like this is blocked off. Yeah, things it is. Or oh, this way? Go this way. Is this open? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back in the donor. Oh, a car! Can I take a car? No. Why? Oh my god, fat wake! Seriously. Oh. That was keeping. I don't trust this. Get out of here. Fuck it. Right, let's look at the membership page. <laughs> Barry in the sheriff's station. Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff check down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building. 
and then the lights went out. Oh no, Barry! Hello, Barry. Oh, damn it. That's sad. And I thought New Yorkers were rude. Ha <laughs> ha! They give me a lot of flares, a lot of pistol. This don't look suspicious, does it? There we go. Buy all the toilets, so. No? No one worried about the toilets? Only me. They're all good. Another bun. It's just gonna be another one of them. We've got to sit and wait. Oh, no, checkpoint. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything there? No? More toilets? What is this? Oh. Where are you coming from? Come on, lads. Save it. Come from here. In here. Where is you? Ah, oh, Afia. I'll tell you this though. Thank you. I don't see anyone. Yeah. I got this. It's an ambush. It's an ambush. There you go. Oh, they're coming from the back. Nah, mate. Come on. Ow. There we go. You lost, boy? Hell to the yeah. Oh, God, more. That gotta be big, man. One more. Man, that guy's taking ages. There we go. Oh! Talk about time, man. Okay. We are not awake. I was gonna say, you came back and helped me, so you must have done something. Thank you. More pages. I want to know what happens to Barry.
Close quarters, we'll stay. Close okay, quarters. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. Uh -huh. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Hell yeah. I'll take that. And listen, here we go. The dark presence set back. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again. But meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Ah, oh, doorbells and dogs. Keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just going to take a quick look. That was pretty cool, she like mentioned it. But Yeah, doorbells and dogs. Not good mix. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a telly. Freedom. A fusion of vigilance, conscience, and uncompromising clarity of vision. A need so fundamental, it permeates our very being. And yet. There we go. What is that? It's hot. I have no idea what that was about. Anyway, arrows. Hey. What oh, is a trap? Is a trap? Hey, I'll take it all. When it takes it all. Did I get a flare gun? I did. Right, let's go. Need to get the keys. Meeting room. Oh, a text. The message was from Barry. <gasps> Barry knows. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Barry no. Don't be dizings, Barry. I have a flag on now. Yeah, boy. Flayers falls away. Room by room? There you go. Anything else in there? Nope. 
Oh, clerk's office. This is where we go. Go. Oh, did I just get an upgrade though? I'll take it though. I'm not. I'm not complaining. Thank you. Okay, sheriff. I got the keys. That's bangs. Love it. Oh, uh, I wanted to search the re Oh, what does matter? Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Run, Barry. He's been chased by cars. Barry, look out. Barry, move. Barry, no. Not a school bus. Is he though? The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wade. Let's in. go around. We can meet. I'm going back, back in. I can't. That's so annoying. I've probably missed loads of stuff. Where are we going? That's so annoying. Oh well. I did that before though, didn't I? It's not recorded when Brad Fells was first found by a nameless trader, but it became a day. It became a day when the Brad Fells mine government to start operation. In 1878. It was then that Hubert Baltimore, a fur trapper, and Amos Gunderson, a pioneer from Tacoma, decided to build a post office, saloon, and hotel, all to operating from the same building. It was though. It was through those efforts of these two men, the Bifos became a permanent and thriving town it is today. Cool. What about Jedediah Springfield? When did he come in the picture? Eh? How did I know that was going to be like an right there. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah. See? This this is not good, guys. This doesn't look good on you. You're failing. You're failing. You can't do it. You can't get me. I told you. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. What's down there? Nothing. Switch out of the flashbangs. Therefore, man, she uses only. Love it. Oh, so it begins. Through the bookstore, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Get the hell down, or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, you'll kill somebody. And over beer fest. What? <laughs> go back to bed. It's me, oh, okay. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. I was searching, my lady. Store called? Don't know. Bookstore. With my book everywhere. Oh, thank you. I put it in my last video, but um, you can buy one of them. For Alan Wake 2, they released like a select. You're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I oh. heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Aha. Uh -huh. um, what was I going to say? Vermis. Yeah, um, you can buy one. Some dude was selling. You can, they're out of stock, but some dude was selling them on e eBay for like 120. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Would I buy one? Probably not, no. But, still. There's nothing up here, what's the point? Why even bother having this? Ugh. Anyway, you got a manuscript page. Cynthia's work. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. 
She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and seen okay. by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Okay, so she's the one that's leaving all those packages. Cynthia Weaver. Okay. That's cool. I don't see Barry. There he is. Look, wait. Maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Oh, see, look. Cash. Whoa. I would like um, flashbangs, though. I'd say they're like the best thing, flashbangs. Then the flare gun. She just was like, nah, mate. I'm not falling for that. I'm just walking through it. Well, I stood there and watched him move. Hey, it's like a, well, like a fair, dear fest, fair. Man, I'm looking around, love. I I'm going to be looking around. There's no, there's no way for it. I will be looking around. See, the manuscript page. Thank you very much. Oh, look, cash. Ah, oh, look, flashbangs. It's the cash back boxes. There's something else that I missed. What was it? Oh. Yeah, give me that hunter rifle right now. Hunter rifle is better than shotgun. As I told you before, hunter rifle, one hit codes normal dudes, two hit codes big boys. So it's probably the best gun in this game, if I'm honest. Minus the flare. The flare is obviously the best gun. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. What's wrong with him now? Let's take a break. Man, come on in, boys. Right there. Okay. Are you supposed to be speedy, man? Oh, Joe, when it go? Oh, not speedy bollocks, man's. I hate these dudes. Oh my god, how am I dying? Ah, oh, it's a speedy douche. Worst enemy in this game. I think there's multiple speedmen, speedmasters. Yeah. Well, even when it cares, them speed fucks. It's pretty good. I had no idea how I was dying there. Now where are you going? Okay, get some. It's open. Get some batteries. Wait. Get some batteries. I'm going. Man, I got four shots left. That's like two kills or four kills or three kills. Oh, did I read that manuscript page? I didn't. Barry and Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns. And yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. 
I would imagine that Barry would throw himself into that role. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before ear caps. Oh wow. Why? Well, it's tradition. Pretty cool. I was going to say, this is perfect time for a manuscript page. The Dark Presence haunts way. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript. But it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Yeah. I keep doing that instead of pressing, I'm sorry. I can't say anything else in here, so just carry on and go. We're okay. almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Really? There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Precisely. Why? What is this? Well, good morning. What is this? Can you class this as a sewer level? Maybe. Probably. I saw a FOMO. Oh, come on. There we go. I won't play them games today. Not in a crypt. Hang about. Oh. That looks like something, but it looks like I think it's just a little scratch. Scratch! Kick. Did you call no. Guess that one saw the light. Oh, Barry, look at him. He's got Christmas lights on. A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Why? Why does this town have a helicopter? Firstly. What was that one poster? I was missing cat poster, sad times. Okay, we're going in. Yeah, give me more hunting rifle ammo, that's what I want. Mate, you run slower than Wake. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. Ha <laughs> this headlamp, it's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. Ha <laughs> ha! I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Bastard. We're getting a lot of manuscript pages. Alice trapped in the darkness. Alice had screamed dark. until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. That's cool. Why would he just like standing on that edge bit? That's strange. Da -da 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 -da. We got this. Team Bright Falls. Uh, cleared for the departure. Night Springs. Oh, mate. Flash band things. You guys. You don't know what hit you. That was good comeback there for flash bands. Now I need FEMOs. Or a manuscript.
Chainsaw Man. How's flashbangs do for you? Hell to the yeah. Oh, my battery's low. Oh, I'm never going to get used to this. Jump. Man, I crushed that car. Do, 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 do. I would normally search over there, but I can't be asked. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need fire department. I cannot see anything, so. Oh, it's the fire department one. Okay, okay. I I understand, sort of. I don't have a shotgun, though. But I will happily take them flashbangs. I'm okay. I don't need a, I don't need a shotgun. I have a rifle. And a flare gun. Do you see him? Oh. I wanted to search the building, yo. That's why I got flashbangs there as well. Damn it, I've got no ammo. It's fine. You coming? Come on. Come on. I got this. You don't need to worry. Oh. If I need to, I'll pick up the shotgun, but I'm fine. Enough time to search in here. Oh no, I can't go in there. Ah, they're so good. Oh. Okay. Weird ass cutscene. Crazy lady. Talk to my lamp. My lamp wants to speak to you. Go look at that bloody bumping. I hope you know how to deal with this wake. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the 
place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no, just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. Oh, wow. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See Very the choppy. Building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Look at all them bloody crows, though. No! Ow. Barry, pass me a Christmas light. Why is that like slow mo? Was it just choppiness? Because there's so many crows. Ooh. I got you, crows. What? I don't have anything. And I just have a crappy. I don't even have my. Uh, pistol. Battery. That's annoying. Why did he get rid of my stuff? Why? We're still in chapter four. I think we are. I've obviously got to go that way because it's opening up. Which isn't creepy at all. No, not creepy at all. Oh, it's stuck on a chain. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, I'm about to die and I'm trapped in a corner. Okay, what's that say? The darkness controls the taken. Oh, we know this. Okay. No. Oh, reload. I'm dodging. Oh, fucking hell. Why does he get rid of your items? That's so annoying. Like, I was stacked, my guy, and now I'm not. I got no bloody batteries. Uh, I had the really super power duper one, didn't I? We were checkpoint. That's annoying. I don't know why it does this. Cool. I don't even have a shotgun. Give me the batteries. Though. Unless you're gonna give me one. You are. Thank you. Flares is, thank you, thank you. I had loads of flashbangs as well, that's annoying. Oh, a radio, I haven't had a radio at all. This part, I don't think. And my man Pat. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest. No, 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 no,
What are you guys gonna have to be done? I can't handle this. Gonna have to. Well, I'm being attacked from where now? What is this, Flair? Are you done here? Oh, Jesus. So another guy walk in. Oh, mate, what? There's people just spawning everywhere. I got no flares. Bollocks. Stop. Bloody bullshit, man. Ugh. Why did he get rid of my shit? So annoying. I see you. Still got a music playing. Probably gonna mute it, so. We can hear his mad boys. My boys. But yeah, I'm very annoyed they got rid of my crap. I was stacked, and now I'm not. Oh, really? The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Yeah, this don't look so special. Ugh. I ain't pressing that yet. Thanks for the chair point, but I ain't pressing that yet. I would like a flare. Flares, at least. The minimum. What we got? Flares, thank you. Flare gun, thank you. Oh, did I get flashbangs? I got one. Man will take it. I will take the flesh beings. Defend myself. Defend my honor. That is just like, hey man. Bye man. So I can't get that page because there's electrons on here. I gotta jump up and over. Maybe. Maybe shoot this. No. I wanna get the the page though. Bam. Bam. Oh mate, well, I gotta turn it off. Right, well before I turn it off. Pick up some of this. I'll pick up shotgun. I did, thank you. What, you just appeared? Any more? Yeah, big man. There we go. Thank you. Still a bit too late though. Mate, you trapped me in the corner. Huh? Ugh. Stupid ass bastard. Double lights, go. Four shotguns left. Page? The page was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Thank you. I said this before, we're getting a lot of manuscript pages. We're at checkpoint. They're like, yo. We're going to throw some shite at you, so here's a checkpoint. Okay. Shotgun. We go. I'm gonna use the flare gun for a bit. I got two shots. I'm running out of shotgun. I don't really want to waste my shotgun right now. Yeah, if I'm honest. Oh, that way. 
Oh, I've got a manuscript page. I've got about it. Cynthia on her way to the dam. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Mate, too I know, you deserve that rest, my dear. My dear, I went to say my G and said my Jer. My G and my dear, but it came out as my, my Jer. One at a time. What are we doing? I'm going to That guy went flying! Hey! We're getting there. Sort of. Not really. Sort of, not really. Ugh. Electricity. It's like someone's gonna break in. Break out of this. Boop. Mate, what is this? Manuscript page. Huzzah. I just read one. That's going up really high. I made it out. Fuck you. Give me the checkpoint. Give me the checkpoint. Ah. Right, manuscript page. Wake's plan. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Oh, so he never finished it. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a good way of doing it. It's like, it's not... What was that? Finished it. We don't like birds. Some Hitchcock fucking bullshit. That's what this is. Why is that all scorched? Obviously, the car exploded. Do I get. I'm not driving. I'm not driving. If you get a car, I'm not driving. I hate cars in this game. Ooh. That was a cheap one. That was a cheap trick game. But that well, nice. That was unfair. Oh, flag on. Where's going? Revolver. Hello. Okay. Batres. Flag on ammo. Flag on ammo. Oh, and press the button. Now we wait. We play the waiting game. Oh. The towns really have things like this. Very interesting. Are they going to be on there or behind me? I ain't taking no chances. Oh. oh, I'm moving still. Oh. That's not good. Oh, 
Ah, Jesus. Ah. Run, Nana. No, no. Oh, I died. Come on, fat wake. We can make it. Come on, fat wake. Oh no, you fucking fat boy. Jesus. Because he runs like a fucking idiot. See you later. Whoa, it's lights in here, I'm safe. But he's still not out of breath. What are you doing? What are you buying? Well, oh, that's making me feel all kinds of dizzy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. TV? No springs, two in one episode. Okay. Butterflies or butterflies that dream of being men. Such philosophical concerns are by necessity abstract. And yet, some of us can find concrete proof of the nature of our existence in night springs. Tonight's episode An Absence of Creativity. No way. God, that voice. It's in the basement. Oh, Mate, is that that woman's voice? The woman from Twin Peaks? In it. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, well, uh, how did you get the here? The secretary woman. Well, I'm trying to work. One that's same um, with Andy. In a way, to be more precise, I put everything here but that. Really? But what is it? Well, I guess the temptation is to call it whole, but it's really an absence. A kind of lack of reality. In Martha's basement? doing so well too i came up with two old ladies and put something really weird in the basement it was a great start but i'm completely blocked now i can't imagine what i was up to well surely it's just an ordinary basement is it why did you call your friend here then well i i don't know oh well couldn't you just ignore it That is cool, that was that. That's the secretary from Twin Peaks, isn't it? The one that, I can't remember her name, it's so annoying. The, um, yeah, she's like pregnant with the, that douchebag and Andy. Okay, there's nothing there. Anyway. It's pointless, I can't run for shit. Got you, boys. 
Don't you worry, Gilly. Easy as pie. Where's my body? That guy's still not gone. Oh, I've got to take it out first. Ow! You! Stop! Fire and shit, mate! Oh, I've got two bits left. Damn, Daniel! And I'm fat weight still. Ugh. Rose is. Run, run, run. Ah, go away, go away, you bastard. So I thought, dickheads. I probably missed the famous seven manuscript pages. Oh. Wow, pistol ammo that I don't need. Maybe I should use a pistol. I'll take the batteries though. Man always needs, man always needs batteries really, lately. Because crap ass motherfucking. I hear food. I hear. I was gonna say I hear food. What? I hear shit. Yeah, I got this. What are you doing? Crap ass. Torch. They don't do crap. I think. No, excuse me, this man. Oh, oh, one more. Is that it? I don't really want to be fighting people. Oh Jesus, Alan! I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted hey. all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Trust no one into the dark. Oh, thank you. General Hall, safe haven. Oh, what's that say? Safe haven there. Safe haven, safe haven. Oh, she's the one that's putting them around as well, is she? Okay. Hold it right there. Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it. Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the lady of the light in the song. Yeah. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Oh, mate, it's so bright in here. In the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Okay. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, yeah, let's fresh go. Banks. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us? Hmm? <laughs> I've got a secret proof of leakage from an old water pipe. Thank you. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's a good thing. All the reserve power without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me okay. guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one Dark who has to break the rules. Wait, my dream. Can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Hmm. I have been preparing for these times. The dark tides. You have found my ashes, haven't you? You can see the signs very easily. Is that why you like you write like? 
I miss you, Tom and Tom, 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 Tom. Yes, Everyone. please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. That's fine, but I've got, I've got no ammo. I cannot take you to the well-lit room if the lights in the pipe go out. You must go outside to use the emergency switch. Oh, I'm going. Man's going. Jesus. Right, I've got flashbang. No. Flashbangs. No, we all got flashbangs. Oh, I mean, that's, that was cheeky. That was, che oh, I'm going, that was cheeky, my friend. That was cheekiness, that. That was pure cheek. I'm just trying to find shit. Weaver had sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Yeah, man, she's like since the 70s, isn't it? Rule number one, never go out at night. Safe haven, safe haven, safe haven. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. That doesn't seem good. Floodlights control. If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. Oh, I'm done. I did it, didn't I? Yeah? No, yeah? Yes, no, yes? Also, cross it. Nothing. Double check it. If I move on, no. Ah, uh, I got you. I've got you. That gets rid of that. Okay. There we go. Rule number two, keep the lights on. Well, as you know, before I do anything, I'm gonna pick up all this stuff, really amateur gun. Then shoot these. Yeah, there we go. God. Okay, cut about. Gatekeeper. Oh, I'm trapped. The transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should not oh, okay. go. It's malfunctioning. We're about to have some fights, boys. I can't see no one. Oh! Did that work? As long as someone's not attacking me from behind. Yeah, it sounds like a dinosaur. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Oh god. I'm just gonna put one another one. Yeah. Put one here for you. And then there we
These boys be coming after me. Oh, heartily. No, come on. I find it's always glitchy when you have to open the door first. I'm here. There we go. Oh, I'm walking slow, I can't run. This way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. Did I read the manuscript page? I know I did. I can't remember if I did or not. It's empty now. We're ready to go. This come on way. in. We need to go. I'm coming. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. Change the bulbs. A part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing it and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back. The darkness, you where's her face? Do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, no. He left only one thing behind him. In case it happened again. And choice. Ah, uh, okay. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. I knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. I curse you, Thomas Zane. We are characters trapped in a story he invented. And none of us will survive to see the end. The darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me here. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with you. You sustain. Oh, okay. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them... Well-lit room. Velvet room. Get it? Hello? Ow! I do. Mary, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? No! No! Sweet little... Oh! Barry! Bahazari! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. Velvet this is room. no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. <laughs> okay. Damn this game, man. She knew how to stay safe. Damn this game. Uh. Eh. Anything? That's not falling off a cliff? No. I know there's a page there. The well lit room. Anything, anything, anything? Quickly. Nah. Oh, manuscript. Uh, manuscript. Man pick up, thank you. Right. The falling helicopter. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. <laughs> ah, he screamed next to her. Funny. I love Barry. 
Japan reached. Oh, seriously? Come on, bad zits. I got you, bad. Need for the cliff. Twice. Yeah, this is definitely a stronger torch. Hands down. Ooh, even hunter rifle ammo. Not that. I didn't see him. What's the music looking out? Oh, come on, fat wake. Come on. Hey, I made it. Sheriff Baker, Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Flares? Flares? Oh, number one. Any more? Oh, that's close. Man's here. Oh, flag on. Oh, I do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Jesus. To it, Gail. Stop chucking shit at me. You know when to make an entrance, Wade. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I knew you'd be all uh. right. Who's next? The Flaming Eye of Mordor. Uh, laugh it up, funny man. Can we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Uh, Eye of Mordor. Thank you. Check this hut out. I know that other way leads to um, probably where we need to go, but oh, we didn't check in here. So. Managed to get paid. Thermos, even a flashbang. I'll take it all. Still got them Christmas lights on my ID. Oh, Barry. Most of your night running uphill while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe. You know your helicopter crash landed in Hot Springs. <laughs> Mine gets it. Oh, I'm never gonna get used to this. He Oof. gets it. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Oh. My whole soul, eh? I hate the speeds, man. I'm doing something. Just go white. How are you attacking me? What, what the fuck is going on? This is really bad. 
Legit, there's like two people with lights and they were still like attacking me. That was wow. I think we're okay. Wow. Wow. Hey, ow, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. There we go. Heal up. Oh, taken. We here. failed. With oh, take taken filled with darkness. I thought it said we failed darkness. No, you failed the city. The I'm keeping watch. I hear something moving around. Right, flashbangs, please. Or f flare. Whatever. Boop. Heads up! Here they come! That dude is oh like no. a fisherman. Oh no! Easy. Pull off the cliff, my friend. My friend. Oh! Cool. Come on, is it? Take it, season. There we go. Best told you, best gun in the game. Hands down. It does take a little while to get get places, but it's still the best gun. Barry. No, we can't we can't do this here. Can't leave them there. Wait. Ow. That'd be bad time for you. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the Man, top. I can hear like What's so much shit on that. Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Let's be careful, okay? Oh, mate, see that? Please, I hate this. There you go. Do, 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 do. Why is it this place, right, has so many abandoned cars? Is this what it's like in America? You come across the woods, car. I don't know. Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Okay. Oh no! Oh, she trying to stop me. Wait, we can get to the dam through here. What's happening out there? You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, baby. You just look out for yourself. How do I reach the top of the dam then? Oh. There we go. You gotta be kidding me. I'll do it. And they're free. Where's the other one? I knew there's free. Page. I have that. Thank you very much. Where are we? Zane's shoebox. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. 
That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Okay. And that's probably why, because he says... He wrote himself out of existence, so no one's heard of him. But all them books, when it all them books were at um, the cabin when we first arrived, done by Thomas Zane, all them books, and obviously because he wrote himself out of existence, no one remembers him. But this books still, they're still there. Whoa. She's like, I'm going to prepare you for a fight. I'm already attacking some birds. I'm getting hit by birds, by other birds, birds, and birds, and birds, and birds, and birds. Bullet room. Problem is the ammo. My ammo's not the best. I have seven shots. I'm about a World War II light that's right next to me. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Come on in, boys. Oh, shit. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. We're gonna do um yeah so crash bandicoot crash bandicoot isms what what You can't run. Sock is an old fat man. Oh. Jesus Christ. No! Ah! Uh, uh. uh. It'd be a common boys. Barry, come on. Oh, they knocked my coffee out of Many, many years now. 
Oh, baby. There's an old army base in Great Hill Point. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. What? Sixes, 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late. And it's I'm the box, isn't it? Shoe box. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old... Is that uh, Max Payne? Switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. Mate, is Thomas saying his father? I can get to her now. I can finish this. Oh no, sorry, I'm gonna have to skip the musicals. The Lady of the Light. story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to. Yeah, because you think he's what? If he's 2010, say for argument's sake. He's like 35. He left something behind to help me. So he's, he could have been born, yeah, in the 70s. Stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. It'd be 40 in 2010 if he was born in the 70s. 1970. So say 1975, he could be, yeah. This. Could be. Two years ago, New York City. Well, it's daytime. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. Really? In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Haha, <laughs> made it with brown. Let's go. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I was sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Two vanities, dual vanity, as they call it in America, dual vanities. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Nice cheeky little bathroom. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Bear with me. We gotta look around. Don't know what the golden guns are for, still don't know. Trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. 
Man, you can't make that decision, Barry. Only he can. Can't go in there. Kitchen in. Coffee. 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 No. No. I've been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. What's TiVo? Cash Patello. The Harry Garrett Show. Hey! I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Hey. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Okay. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment. Over I don't understand why their voices are not synced properly. Now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, hey. congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, True that. You're famous for that temper. Mm -hmm. I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake... Hey, Sam Lake, yeah. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. You watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want to ask him something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry. Oh, okay. I can be angry at that. Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. So weird rings. Black. Again. Well, it could be the graphics, but it looked black. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Mmm. We go present day. Bright Falls present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript. Oh, we need the end now. To make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. No. Okay, ready.
ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. Oh, Barry. See you later. Is this it? Is this the final chapter? Holy oh, shit. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take it. Please, no more driving. Please, for love of God, I don't want to drive again. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Thank you for watching that video. As I said, I'm recording a new intro because Shocktober has ended. Shocktober Encore has ended. But if you enjoyed this video, please click the link here to the other old Shocktober video, which is a playlist, which is going to be Evil Within, and click this one here to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and please comment. I love comments. So thank you for watching and enjoy. Alan.